All right, hello everyone, this is Ladoshka, and I am coming at you with a Sims 4 build video. So today I'm going to be building Lewis's Restaurant, which is the restaurant where Michael Corleone, um, at the end of Godfather 1, shoots um, the Turk. And uh, I don't know why I really wanted to make this video. I just thought it was really interesting, um, like the setting, you know, being in a very intimate restaurant setting and... Uh, this major event happening. And this also uh, happened to be my first speed build video as well. And it was just such an interesting learning experience. And I thought, well, why, if I'm doing, you know, starting with The Sims Father, why don't I just go in and do a build video where I, you know, try and learn how to do voiceover and, you know, any other kind of technique. So what I'm doing pretty much is just getting a general layout of the inside of the restaurant. So when I went back and I looked at pictures on Google, I really didn't have very much to go off of. Um, there weren't picture like at all picture any pictures of the outside of the restaurant. It was primarily just the inside, and so I kind of had to use my imagination to figure out like where the spacing of everything was going to go and um, just try and get as close of a feel for the restaurant as possible um, that looked exactly as it did in the movie. And so what I had to do is put in some square, some uh, small rectangular tables draped in white. I, I didn't find any in the um, build mode that weren't those double, I guess, layered linens or whatever. Um, so I just had to go with what I found. Uh, so I'm just putting in chairs here now. Um, and I remember whenever I was building this, I couldn't quite figure out what the color was. And I didn't like that the chairs had these little granny pillows on them. So I really had to uh, figure out how to actually make it work. And as you saw, I had to delete each one, each and every single chair, and replace them with ones that were darker in color because they're... Well, in photos, I can't tell whether it's brown or black chairs, but uh, for these purposes, I just went ahead. I don't think it makes a difference, so I just went ahead and changed them to black. Uh, as well as um, the chairs don't have that crazy purple um, pillows on the seat anymore, so it just made it look all the, all the same. So I'm just putting in windows, again, uh, corresponding to the photo. Also... Um, also, I'm really sorry about the top left corner being on there. I don't know why I keep forgetting to take that out like I can take it out. And so for me, too, it was kind of hindering my view a little bit. But so I'm just putting in um, the bathrooms. Uh, so the bathroom where Michael is going to, you know, get the gun that Clemenza planted. So I initially started with two bathrooms, but as you'll see later, I ended up having to make four just because I didn't like where the bathrooms, like, where the door was on there. And honestly, I just, I didn't think that the stalls needed to be so big. So I ended up splitting those. Um, so now I'm just trying to figure out like how the entryway is going to go, putting in a host stand, um, trying to put in the kitchen because, you know, if you're going to have a restaurant, you got to have a kitchen. And so here, uh, I was trying to figure out like how to put in the ceiling and stuff like that. And this was the first time where uh, I actually started the build from scratch. Normally, I just make a huge square and then just like cut rooms that way but this time around I actually experimenting with you know making different shapes and kind of working with it so um, now I'm just putting in like different countertops and sinks just things that you would normally see in a kitchen but trying to keep that very industrial vibe without being too fancy so as you can see I moved the prep station around a lot because one of the things that I keep forgetting is that that right side where you see that little rack on top, that side actually is where the waitress is going to come in and take the food. And I realized that really late in the process. And so while I'm out here decorating and making things look really cosmetic and cute and things like that, I realized, oh no, um, 
how is the waitress going to get the food? <laughs> and so people need to get their food. And I just had to reorient that. But you'll see that later. So here was an interesting part because um, when I was looking at the photo of the restaurant, like there were clear panels for windows, like one on the top and, you know, a bigger one on the bottom. And what I figured out, well, I couldn't figure out why, you know, it was very opaque on one half of it and clear on the other. And I figured out that you can't have two windows on the same wall. Like you can't have them on top of one another. Like it'll just, as you can see here, just kind of block out some of the walls and leave the rest. And so, yeah, it took me a while to figure out. But once I did, uh, I just moved the, I just removed those panels completely and then I just left the windows as is and did what I had to do. Um, here I'm just playing with some signage, just wanted to look, you know, more restaurateur like, um, just putting on some, I don't know, cute little touches, like the door, oh my gosh, took me a minute to figure out, uh, I don't know why. Doors are just such an important feature to me, like I've lived, I lived in Charleston and the doors were just such a feature that stood out to me. So now I'm just putting in some candles. I'm going to remove all the lighting just because, you know, you want this to be a somber, intimate space. You don't want there to be very much lighting because, you know, this is a dark moment in the movie and I really wanted to reflect that. And so I wanted to make it, you know, this very home style Italian restaurant type space. Um, where, you know, people could come in with their families and just enjoy each other's company. Now I'm just making a little bit of a patio. Um, again, like this part is completely made up. I, I don't even know if the restaurant actually had that. Um, but I'm just making it my own, just making like a cute little spot. If people during the summer want to, <laughs> the summer of New York, want to hang out. Uh, I also messed with the height of the buildings. I think in Sims 4... The buildings actually start off as medium, and so you don't realize it until, like, I didn't realize it until late into the build, but what I ended up doing was changing the height to the lower height or the smallest height, and it worked out perfectly because then that wasn't, there wasn't that huge gap above the windows uh, um, where I used to have the, the first panels in there. So now... Again, I'm just decorating it, making it really intimate, uh, just giving it some cute touches. I really love the uh, moving objects cheat. It's just so incredibly efficient for me. And as you can tell, I don't work on one room at a time. Like, I'm all over the place, and that's just reflective of me in real life, too. I start on one thing, and then I'll just go into another room and do another thing. So here is what I mentioned before, where I had to you know, play with the spacing to make sure that that grill section, the receiving end of the prep station was, you know, open for waitresses to come in and, or waiters to come in and get the food. So I just had to move the island um, and get rid of some counters and then move it around. And then it ended up actually looking much better than I thought before. It's interesting whenever I do these builds and I start off with one idea and it doesn't end up working, and I just, I don't really do an overhaul, it's just like little tweaks here and there, and it's just such a lesson for me, of like when something doesn't work out, you know, it's not a complete failure, I can end up making something even better than how it looked before, of course you gotta save, because I don't want to lose anything, um, but yeah, it, it was just such a good way for, it, it, like, building in The Sims is really teaching me more about who I am as a person and how I approach certain things in life. Like not finishing one task in one room is like going between different rooms. And, and I think that just goes with my personality of like, you know, I don't really like the mundane. I don't like things to be stagnant. I just kind of like to move around a little bit and keep things fresh and interesting. And that's one of the reasons why you'll just see me go back and forth. Now I'm just putting in some photos because, you know, who goes to like a family Italian restaurant and doesn't have photos in there of, you know, their families before. So now here's, I'm splitting the bathrooms, as I mentioned before, 
So I initially was going to split it into four, and then when I tried to put in the walls, it just didn't work. Like, it, it wasn't equal, and, you know, I like equality. So I ended up having to uh, cut it into six. And, you know, it makes sense, because if you go to a, a place where they have small bathrooms, uh, normally you will see them have, like, three stalls or, th uh, three stalls, excuse me, or something like that. So... I just went in and I made three stalls per, uh, for each gendered bathroom. Um, and now I'm just removing the lights and just, again, just tweaking, really, really tweaking. Ceilings, I'm just not very good at. Uh, I was initially going to put a roof on there, and that's why you see me putting the pillars in there, but I just couldn't figure out how to make the roof right. Um, it was just really weird like whenever you have spaces like that where you know It's not a perfect square or something like that. It's just really hard to place different roofs So what I ended up having or what I ended up doing was just removing the roof entirely that covered area removing all the pillars and just making it uncovered so um, It's just you know a, a great place for people to enjoy the the outside I don't know how that's going to work in inclement weather. <laughs> I think people are going to have to um, just sit inside and that'll be the thing. So, um, again, just putting in some finishing touches. Um, I hope I'm putting in some finishing touches. Uh, I was just trying to decide or pick a color, it seems, that was close to the counters. But um, it ended up matching the brick and it works. Um, funny story. So I didn't realize that there were different kinds of cabinets that you could choose. My coworker, who is a huge Sims enthusiast, she was teaching me all about, um, you know, the different options that you had. And I'm just like blown away by the fact that you can have dishes, a cabinet with dishes in it, and you can have like a, a very small cabinet. And it was just mind blowing. And I still learn things each and every day about this game that just make it even better. So now I'm still just tweaking. I initially had the wine on the outside, but I thought, you know what, Italian cooks would definitely drink while they cook, uh, just to kind of have that aesthetic. And, you know, the bar is fully stocked, so they really don't need any more wine up there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, what is going on? Oh, still tweaking, of course. Let's see. But yeah, uh, the rest one's pretty much almost all done, if not completely done. Okay, y'all, I take that back. I'm definitely not done. I'm tweaking, yes, but it ended up that when I went back and I thought about it, I'm like, if I say that I want this restaurant to look as close as possible to the movie, I need to actually make it look like it does in the movie. So what I ended up doing, I took out the patio completely. I redid the front so that it had more of a bay shape to it, um, and that's where I ended up putting the door. And it just after doing that made a lot more sense to me anyway. Um, so right now I'm just choosing the door um, and I, I'm just copying the same door that I had before um, and trying to tweak a little bit to make it look a little bit more inviting, but you know, not too inviting. I'm choosing the windows to see which one would be the best fit for it. I initially had those, but then I said, you know, it really doesn't go with the um, the outer windows that fate like that street facing. So I chose those. But then I was messing with the heights because I'm like, oh no, the height doesn't look right. Um, and then I played with the Sims 3 camera, which is so helpful for getting like just a a level view of what's in front. And uh, I played with the heights of the windows in order to do that. Again, I'm just tweaking the roof because. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to remove the ceiling where that that bay window was and or that uh, bay shape was um, but once I did then it you know everything went just fine so right now I'm trying to choose a light to go in the front it's just a little bit too dark and you know the reason that I wanted the lighting to be there was just to kind of make it again a much more inviting space but I couldn't quite fight the, find the right lighting because not all the lighting 
fixtures fit or could go on there because it kept intersecting with the door. So even with the um, moving objects cheat, it just didn't work. So I had to just completely remove the light and just go with that. Um, I'm still tweaking. Now I'm putting trash cans in and realizing that I have no idea how to rotate these uh, trash cans, but I figured it out. And to finish it out, uh, just doing some paint and now for comparison videos or comparison photos. Um, yeah, I think it ended up looking even better once I changed the door. So I'm extremely proud of this. So that is it for Lewis's restaurant. We are done. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.